Today I'm going to be waterproofing my quads. Um, I'm about to go on a little trip where there's going to be snow, so I need to make sure that I can crash into the snow and it won't short circuit out. I brought a few things that I'm going to need to waterproof it with. First thing is Corrosion X. This stuff you paint into all of all the little connectors where the USB and the battery goes. What overkill! This massive box for this. So this is what I'm going to be using, it's acrylic protective lacquer and then if you're not lucky enough to have a GoPro session and you've got something like this, this is a, it's a little Yi, um, it's not waterproof and um, I don't really want to dip in Corrosion X. So what I've got is one of these, GoPro mount. I'm going to take this broken 3D printed mount off and I'm just going to somehow fix that onto there so I can fly it, it'll be waterproof. It's a little bit extra weight, but I don't really care. Right, now I've got to take apart the quad. Right, so I've done about as much as I think I can get away with for stripping it. So I've taken all of the tape off of the ESCs. I've taken off the VTX. Um, this is the receiver. I'm going to take off all of this heat shrink and I'm going to cover it, all of the circuit boards with this stuff. Uh, just painted it on, it's like no varnish. So I'm just going to paint that over the top and then I think I'm going to have to take the motors off and paint the bottom as well. Uh, all on the flight controller and the PDB. In here and in these little connectors I'm going to put some of this onto a paintbrush and paint it along with that connector on the back. I'm going to take the camera out as well and put some of this on the circuit boards. Um, on the um, LC filter I'm going to do as well. I'm not sure about what about putting on the buzzer, but I don't think I'm going to do anything with that. Right, continue. I'm going to start with the camera. No real reason, but um, I'm going to start with. So that's the sensor. I don't want to get it on that sensor. Oh god, come on, focus, 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 focus. Not going to focus. Okay, it's not going to focus, but I don't want to get it on that sensor. I want to get it on everything else though. Right, so I've just done one side of the camera sensor and I'll just blow on it for a bit and then do the other side. This stuff smells just like um, like when you use plastic glue. It smells just like that. Apparently you can solder through this as well so it's, uh, it's quite a good thing to be using on your circuit boards. If you ever need to do any repairs you can always re-solder it. And it gives a sort of a bluey tint if you do it in the sunlight because the ultraviolet lights, it's not going to focus is it? Right, I'm going to set that down to dry and I'm going to start on something else. Right, so I'm not sure if you're going to do the, the top and the bottom of the ESC, so I'm going to do both. The only way that I can see from getting to the bottom without unsoldering it is taking off the motors and lifting it up. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So I think the first thing I'm going to do on the quads is um, do the flight controller and put that all back on. And then I can take the motors off and do the ESCs one by one. I think that's going to be my best bet. Right, so that's one side of the flight controller done. I'm just going to give it like 30 seconds to dry and then I'll flip it over do the other side. And I'll bolt it back in and uh, we'll try and go from there. I think what I'm going to do on these little connectors, this little telemetry connector that goes to the receiver, it's got like three open wires there. I'm just going to put a little bit of this onto those three so they don't short out. Just like a little, a little spot of it. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm actually going to do the uh, the PDB. I'm going to get all of those little connectors all completely covered with this as well. So we can reconnect it and all be good. Right, that's the PDB completely covered. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to put a little bit of the corrosion X in the top of its cap. And using just a little paintbrush, I'm just going to paint it onto the connectors.
Right, so my VTX is now dried. Um, I'm gonna just do the connectors now. I'm not sure if you're meant to do this gold one on the top, but I'm going to anyway. Better be safe than sorry. Right, I've got the um, flight controller all done now and the receiver, and the receiver's now heat shrinked up. About to zip tie it back to the frame and then that's done. Just gotta re heat shrink the LC filter and then that's almost done. And then, yeah, wasn't too hard. Still got the ESCs to do though, they could be the hardest bit. Right, so this is how I'm doing my ESCs. I'm taking one motor off, taking off the heat shrink, and then covering it on one side, folding it over, covering it on the back. And then what I'm going to do, instead of reheat, uh, reheat shrinking it, I'm just going to take this and then rewrap it around and just cut it. And that's what I'm going to do four times. Last motor going back on and then I'm going to tape it all up, put the top plate on, get the camera and receiver back on. And then finally, I'm going to put this on the top. I don't know how I'm going to mount it yet. <laughs> Maybe just some cable ties. We'll see. Right guys, and here it is. So I've obviously got the GoPro mount up on this so it'll be waterproof. Um, just need to wrap these up, the ESCs up with some uh, electrical tape and then we're done. Just plugged it in, didn't blow up. I'm gonna start the motors. Welcome to Open TX. And we're good. Right guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was some help to you. It is now fully waterproof, hopefully. I haven't tested it yet. Um, I'm gonna be going up to the mountains next week, so hopefully can fly it in some snow. and We'll really give it a good test. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. And remember, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.